Hey, look at that. We're live. Good morning, everybody. Today, it's Friday. Today, we're going to put a bow on this week of uh, leadership and difficulty. Well, those things don't sound like they go together, do they? Well, stick around after this and see how I tie it all together. Don't go away. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. Grab a cup of coffee. I have one. My name's Tom, and we're going to talk about um, stuff today right here on this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits, business ownership and entrepreneurship. And all week we've talked about um, leading and the challenges associated with leading. Maybe that's a better way to say what I was trying to say in the open. Uh, Monday we talked about leadership as a business strategy and how being out front uh, can be very rewarding and put you in a great place uh, and even allow you to create uh, world domination, as Catherine says. And then we, we've looked at a couple of the difficulties that come along with that. And kind of to follow up on yesterday's show, uh, and I actually wrote something up on the board last night. Eh, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to save. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see if we get to that today. Uh, but today's about making difficult decisions. Uh, yesterday was knowing when to give up. Today is about difficult decisions. But before we get into that, I want to ask you, when you get here, do as Joe and Catherine have already done. Leave a comment. Say hi. Hello. Good morning. How you doing? And by the way, if you don't have a good source for coffee to share while we're doing the show every morning, go to TomRigsby.com slash coffee. You can get, uh, I think it's 20% off your first order from Black Rifle there. That's what I have in there is some, uh, just black from black rifle. All right. So today making difficult decisions, we are faced with these <clears throat> every day. Yesterday I, I did a little bit of a derivative of this about knowing when to quit. <coughs> Excuse me. That can be one of the difficult decisions, but so can be, uh, when to hire, when to fire, whether you sell or refinance. I mean, that these are, that they're difficult. Here's what makes them difficult, right? And this is kind of the point that I want to want to get to today. Object, <coughs> excuse me, objectively, they're not that difficult. If you had an accountant come in and look at your books and you had a, an offer from a, a legit, good quali uh, qualified offer from someone to buy the company or your, your debt burden is such that you need to refinance it, right? You can have somebody come in, look at the numbers and say, oh yeah, you should sell it. Yeah. Except, you know, my granddad started this business, you know, 45, 50 years ago, and I don't want to be the, fa right? So that's why the, the decision is difficult, not because of the objective reasons, but because of the subjective reasons. Same with firing a problem employee. Right. I mean, anybody can come in and objectively say, oh, this person's got to go. They they're bringing you down, man. You got to get them out of here. That's that part's easy. Well, yeah, but I know that, um, um, you know, her why her, her husband's not working right now. And if I let him go, then they, th those are the subjective parts. That's what makes difficult uh, decisions difficult, but it's also, it's also what makes us human. So how do you balance this objective and subjective to come up with the difficult decision? Well, if you've been watching all week, or if you've watched probably more than one episode of this show, you know that where I'm going to start, right? You have to begin with the end in mind. What is the outcome that you're trying to create? Does keeping this employee here and maybe, 
Uh, let's just add some difficulty to it. They've been here for 10 years. <laughs> I don't know. Did, does keeping this employee here move me closer to my goal or further away? Well, in a lot of respects in that scenario, maybe they're moving you further away. Yeah. Okay. I understand that. Does, does selling or refinancing move me closer to my goal or further away? Well, you know, objectively, maybe selling makes more sense. And this is where we have to add the next, the next level here. And it's your values, right? The, the, the interesting thing about this is the business will have a set of values and you, the individual will have a set of values. And it's those values that begin to influence the objective decision-making right? Objectively and based on the outcome I want to create, this person's got to go, right? Yeah. Beginning with the end in mind, definitely a habit of successful people. Um, objectively, this person's got to go, but based on my values and the values that our business support, now you have to, to add that factor that into the equation. Maybe, and, and, and this, it all depends. This is why I encourage people understand what the values are before you get into the decision-making process, because you can rationalize anything to yourself. So you have to go through an exercise of understanding your values. If you're the, you know, sole proprietor, if you're the owner operator of this business, the business values probably are your personal values. If the business is bigger, has, uh, shareholders, you know, um, you know, other people, other stakeholders involved in the company, then the company will develop some values that are greater than yours. One of the, the big knocks against capitalism right now is that the, the only value held by the company is, um, to, to profit, to increase profits, to increase shareholder value. Well, okay. And, and there are some companies that are, are, uh, impacting that saying, we, you know, we want to have, we want to do that, but do that in a, a carbon neutral way or a, a, in a way that supports this activity or this belief that's them exercising their values. Personally, I have no qualms against that. In fact, I would much rather a company say, here's what we're about. Here's what we believe. Here's how we're going to spend the profits that we derive from the business. Okay. Great. And now if I support those same values, then I can get behind your business. If I don't, then, you know, I'll likely go somewhere else. But the, the point is as the business or as you have these values, they have to pour into and influence these decisions. So let's go back to this problem employee, right? If your if one of your values is to find and keep the best people, let's just say that that, that is one of the values. And, and this has been a long-term employee, I've been here for 10 years, but right now there, there's a problem. Well, let's look at why there's a problem and see if there's something that we can do as an organization or together with this employee to help. Let's say her husband is out of work. And that's creating a lot of stress at home. And she's having to look for another job. He's looking, I mean, who knows what's going on, right? Is there a way to support them through that so that you can maintain this long-term employee? Because in the end, they're really good at what they do. You want to keep them around. It's just right now they're really hurting you. Or maybe, you know, selling or refinancing granddad's business. Well, if your personal value is to, you know, find a way to cash out as quickly as possible. Okay. Then do that. But if it's to maintain this legacy, that's now in its third generation, and that's one of your values, refinancing is probably the way to go. Right? So you just have to, it, it's, we talk a lot about understanding what the outcome is, begin with the end in mind, get, you know, use that as a filter to make your decisions. But the reality is that there's more to it than that. 
and then our personal values and the values of the business play into that. So I would encourage you, especially now we're on a Friday heading into a weekend. It's a great chance to do this. Find a little bit of quiet time this weekend and think about what those values are. I might even put an extra video out today about that. I've got, I have some stuff put together on that. But this, you know, you understand where you're trying to go. You understand what you value in your life and your business. You put those things together. You make decisions, make choices that influence the outcome. Man, see that, that makes it a lot easier. And, uh, it makes it simpler. Doesn't always make it easier. <laughs> Your values might dictate that that employee's got to go. You, so you still have to have that conversation. Um, but at least the decision making process is simpler. The polarization can be, yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. Polarization be a, a good successful strategy. So, all right, all this week we've kind of talked about. Um, the, being a leader and some of the things, some of the difficult positions that, that that puts you in, hopefully some of these topics have, uh, triggered some thought and given you pause to think about not only the cost of being in a leadership position, some of the things that I have to deal with, but giving you some tools also, I'm, I'm, uh, working to have ready by Monday, maybe little tidbits come out later today or over the weekend of. Uh, a framework to help with these decisions. So be sure and stay tuned for that. That'll come out uh, yeah, probably on the website. Uh, I think I'll put that on the website instead of YouTube. Uh, but be on the lookout for that. I'll talk a lot about that on Monday if it's ready. That's it for today and for this week. Thank you so much. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much for being here. You know somebody that's in a leadership position that's struggling. You should share this video with them. Give them the tools to make uh, better decisions, sleep better at night, have less stress. They will appreciate you for it, and I will too. Go ahead and click that share button underneath the video or audio that you're watching or listening to. And if you personally got value out of our time together today, I would appreciate a click or two or three on the old heart, stars, thumbs up, likes, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. That's it for today. You guys have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend. And I will be back here Monday with another installment of seven minutes in the morning. Until then, take care. Oh, no. Ah, buttons. I need buttons.